I'm just going to talk you through how to update the website, the information within your staff profile, and then also how to do a blog post. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to just open up a window in your browser, go to www.cfschools.org, and then after that just do slash admin and return. So this is what should show up. It will probably say right away, could not find user account. Just do sign in, click your CF Schools account. If it says this, could not find user, again, try it one more time. Then do allow. And then you should be able to then log in to what is the content management system for the district. Not everyone's will look exactly like this, but it should look pretty similar. Everyone should have a profile right in the middle. First thing you'll want to do is update your profile. So you just click on that box. And you can go in to change a few of these items. If you don't have a photo, we would really like it if you would be able to put in a professional headshot photo here. You would just replace the file by clicking here. Choose it from your desktop. It'll update it. Not everyone will have this many tabs across the top. The main one that you'd be able to change is the profile page. So you're able to type in a bio, add information if you have your own Google site for your classroom, any other information you'd like to type in here or add in that would be great for people to know about you as a staff member in the district. The staff roles function is actually something that I update. So if you have something within that, that within yours that needs to be changed when you look at your staff information on the website, just shoot me an email and I can make that adjustment. The other tab you might want to use is the social media one. So if you are on Twitter or have a Facebook account that you'd like people to know about that represents your position within the district, you would add those here. You could choose whichever one it might be, Facebook, Twitter, and then you just type in the URL here and then tap click save and then it'll be updated. Another thing you'll want to do as well is to go in and actually search your name within the staff directory. So if you click over here on the right, this pull out here, you can just go to staff. Type in first last name should come up you click on it and then this is the information that shows up to people as they're searching for you we chose to only include emails so we don't have phone numbers for anyone if this information also again looks incorrect just let me know and I will definitely update that information within the system so the next thing to just go back to the dashboard the main thing will really be asking teachers or others in the district to be providing content or contributing content is through the blog. So every building has a blog now on their site. If you just go to the building level page, you'll be able to choose the blog. And then this is where that information will populate as it's submitted through the blog within the content management system. So this has some really good little descriptors. This is really stories, things happening in your classroom, happening in the building. The news is something a little shorter, and then announcements are the things that are really probably done via every building every day as far as what the daily announcements are. So the news and the announcements are more done at the administrator level and then the district level most likely. So a blog post is what most of you will be contributing content for. So you'll just click on create a new blog post. So these little red stars here are what is required. So you need to have a title, choose the author, which would be your name, and within a blog post you have to include an image. So you just again can select a, um, an image. If it's something you took from your phone, you could just email that photo to yourself and then select the image from your computer. And then, of course, you'd want to pick which building you are in. Then you just move over to, over to content. 
This is where you could type in a couple sentences, a paragraph or two about what's happening in the photo, what's happening in the classroom. All of these functions are really quite easy, user-friendly. You can link out to other websites. You could add in an image, again here. If an actual file you wanted to include, you click this function. SEO is something you definitely don't have to do at all. It's just a, a part of the, as people would actually be searching for this type of information, it makes it more accessible if someone's going through a search function. So not anything here, but if you want, you could add in um, the same title here and then a description about the page or the blog post. Taxonomies also has some required components. So you'd need to do a content category, depending on what type of thing you're posting. You can choose a grade level if you'd like. If there's other kinds of tags or con um, categories that aren't really within this tab, you could add those here. You can choose which school level, school type, if there's another kind of group type, and then of course the building. Your ability would to be able to make a draft, so you would just save the draft. And then at every building level, there's three or four different people that are able to approve the content. So that'll show up for them, and then they can basically just change the blog post from draft to published, and then it will show up on the building page. in this area here. So the blog are not things that actually need to be deleted, it's just we'll basically keep pushing new, new content, we'll be pushing old content down. Again, you can find the news or the announcements at the building level in these two categories as well. So that's the basics for updating the website as far as each individual's profile information and then also doing a blog post. If you have any questions, just give me a quick call or shoot me an email and I'll be happy to uh, walk you through those. Here is my email, janelle.darst, and phone number is 2426. Thanks so much.